Draw.io tutorial for beginners. How to use Draw.io. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Draw.io. Now, Draw.io is an online platform that allows you to visually create a collaborative space, create your business, and have everything be managed in a simple and effective way. You can import your data from pre-existing databases and integrate things like Notion, your desktop, Atlassian, or other tools in Draw.io. And it's really simple to start. So let's jump right in. First, click on start over here. And I already have created an account, so you guys will see I have my first board. Now you can choose to download Draw.io as well. So if you want to keep an offline version, then you can have a link to download this. You have a Windows installing version and then a Mac installation version. So you have both options ready and accessible to you. However, even if you don't want to download Draw.io, you can always use it in their desktop browsers. So let's get started with creating a blank diagram. Now you will see that when you're creating a new diagram on Draw.io, you can actually choose to get started with either a blank one or even generate your own diagram. You can also click on class diagram to see different types of templates available. Now I'll start with a simple Kanban board and we're going to just click on create over here. Now you will see that this is a really simple template and this is task number one, task number two, a task can be moved into the next section like this. And this is totally voluntary if you want to use a template. However, if you're looking to incorporate multiple elements into one, so if you want to maybe do something like a business flowchart, you can also do that as well. So for that, you can go on ahead and go into your file and you'll see in file, you can open from your recent and you can actually uh, go back and reset this. But what I'm going to do is on the left, we have a bunch of shapes. We have miscellaneous and we can click on more shapes over here as well. You get access to other shapes. Now, this includes things that are specific to specific industries. So you have electrical or engineering based shapes that are primarily used for, for those tasks. You also have flow charts, arrows, advanced shapes that can help you in making everything easier. And on the right, you also have different style options that you can pick out from. Now, how do you customize the data within a shape? Well, to do that, you can click on the data over here. And once you do a double click, you will be able to add your data. So if I want to add something like, let's say I have to do my groceries, I can just click on over here and I have to do grocery shopping like this, and I can even create, you know, smaller items. And for every section that you're creating on diagrams.io or diagram.net, you can actually assign a link from the right over here. So if I want, I can hyperlink any other link. I can also add a image. I can add a horizontal rule and a table as well. Now you will see that this particular, uh, template has linked all the task sizes together so it's easier for you to just keep everything in the same size so if i decrease the size in one panel it decreases all the task sizes in that particular panel now to create something like this it can be done simply by going into the left and first off you're going to click on general once you click on general you can create a empty space and we are going to leave this blank now for the perimeter, I'm going to make this a dotted or just a thicker line like this so you guys can visually see. Then after that, I am going to create my first task over here. Now I will create a simple line and you can connect the line to the top like so. Once we've done that, we can just do command C and command V and then place it on the other side. A really easy way to see your measurements in this is by looking at the scales you'll see because these are lined pages you're really easily going to be able to manage everything we're just going to connect these like so now once we've done that we can just add our shapes and we are going to command c and command v add the rest of our tasks and now we can type in our task and then move it into the next section as well now, if you don't want visually uh, sharp lines, you can just keep a simple line. 
in the form of a shadow or even reduce the line weight to make it a less visually drastic. And you can add a column on top to display different levels of your tasks. Now you can add a lot of different things and these are just basic shapes. So I'll just add a couple of tasks over here. Maybe I have to launch tote bags on Shopify like this. Now let's say this task is linked to another task. So to be able to establish this task, I can go into the left and I can go into entity relation. Now, once I go into entity relation, you will see different types of ways that you can actually relate an entity. So let's say that this is going to be related to my Instagram launch for the tote bags. So you will see you have a bunch of different options of connectors. So I'm going to add a connector over here that is just going to display a relationship. And these images, these uh, diagrams are really standardized. So your team is going to have a universal idea. You guys can see you have associative identities and much, much more. And you also can create associations by linking a certain task. So maybe my grocery shopping is also related to visiting my hairstylist like so. So let's see, this is going to be linked like this. Now, keep in mind that a link can be created in either direction. So if I do this and you will see different shape options for this as well, I can go on ahead and build my link and then display relevant information accordingly. Now with Draw.io, you can view your diagrams in different ways in the form of formatting, outlines, layers, and tags. Additionally, you can also arrange your images and also manage the extras such as your language, themes, and general appearance. And if you want to integrate third-party apps, that can help you in powering up your diagrams. Now, if I want to publish a diagram, so if I'm satisfied with my to-do list and I want to share it with a friend or with a coworker that I am working with, you can click on the top right and we're going to find this option for share and we can save this to our google drive now you can either share this to a google drive or you also have the option to actually share a link so if you go into view you should be able to find either in view or in your file option the option to share or publish yeah so you're going to click on publish and then click on link and then you're going to click on create. And now if you send a copy of this, the other person will be able to access it as it is on Draw.io. So in this way, you can get started with Draw.io. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.